Hello， 大家好，欢迎来到洛杉矶华人资讯网波士顿焦点的直播现场，我是主播莉亚。近视、远视、老花眼、散光、白内障等眼科问题呢，正在成为现代人的困扰。而且，由于基因、环境因素，亚洲人的近视比例明显高于欧美人群。根据《自然》杂志在2015年一项研究。高达 90% 的亚洲青年都患有近视，真的太普遍了。那么这也让亚洲人摘镜成为了迫在眉睫的需求。在众多近视矫正手术中，最风靡美国的就是 Evo ICL 晶体植入。这款晶体自从2022年由美国 FDA 批准以来，已经在全球使用了数百万次，满意度高达 99.4%。它能够矫正300度到2000度的近视和散光，不去除任何角膜，不导致干眼症。而且它是一款可逆的晶体，也就是说，如果你不喜欢，可以轻松把它取出来，特别适合中高度近视的患者，尤其是那些害怕做眼科手术的患者。那今天呢，在节目现场，我们邀请到了马赛诸塞州规模最大、声誉最卓越的眼科护理中心 Boston Vision 波士顿视力中心创始人 Dr. Melky 来到节目现场为您来讲解。Boston Vision 被誉为全美前三的 Evo ICL 晶体植入矫正中心，被公认是学术界的标杆，堪称殿堂级的诊所，为患者提供了卓越的治疗体验。在刚刚结束的美国白内障与屈光外科学会的这个会议上 ，Boston Vision 作为行业示范案例，接待了来自全美眼科同行参观进行交流，共享经验。那同时呢 ，Boston Vision 是由哈佛医学院导师 Dr. Melky 在2000年创立。Dr. Melky 是哈佛医学院的导师，屡获国际大奖，是多个权威协会的成员，更是在2005年到2013年担任英国专科眼科医学主任。他还设计了多款手术。器械，并且首次将人工角膜技术引入黎巴嫩和英国。同时 ，Dr. Melky 还在医学期刊上发表原创研究，为多部哈佛使用的教科书提供素材内容，奠定了他在眼科领域当中的学术权威地位。那么，首先呢，先请 Dr. Melky 来给我们介绍一下自己吧。Hi, Dr. Melky, could you please give us a brief introduction about yourself? Thank you for having me. I'm、uh, Dr. Samir Melky. I'm the founder of Boston Vision. I'm an eye surgeon, but I focus mostly on laser eye surgery. I focus on Evo ICL and cataract surgery, and、um, I've really been interested in this type of surgery since I began treating people with eye problems, because it's really life-changing. It changes their lives and makes、uh, their everyday life much, much easier. Great. So, what is ICL, and how does it work? So yes,、uh, although the ICL could be summarized as an implantable contact lens, but it's actually a lot more than that. It's much thinner than a regular contact lens. The material is very, very,、um, it's very thin, and and I wouldn't say fragile in the sense that it's it can it can break down, but it's it's accepted by the eye so well because the material has been tested in the eye for so many years. And、um, but on the other hand, as opposed to a contact lens, you don't have to take care of it. You don't have to touch it. Once it's in there, it stays there forever.、Uh, it is removable, so that's nice, and that's a big, big difference compared to the other laser modalities, where once you do it, you you cannot undo it. And that's one the beauty of the of the ICL is that it's a removable、uh, modality. So who's the candidate? So.、Uh, The lens is approved for certain ranges of prescription, right?、So、if you if you have a very low prescription, you may not be a candidate for it. It used to be for people who have very high prescription who do not qualify for LASIK. But with time, we realized that actually, Evo ICL provides certain advantages compared to LASIK surgery, and we have been doing more and more patients who could be a candidate for LASIK or ICL. Mostly, like I said, because it's removable. Uh, you don't have to. It doesn't affect the dryness in the eyes, so patients don't get、uh, dry eyes. Rarely, some people get get halos. For example, with LASIK,、uh, with the ICL, you could always take it out if you need to. Although it, that's very rare. And、um, the other advantage of the ICL is that you leave the cornea intact. So the quality of vision that you get,、uh, it's an additive surgery. You're not subtracting anything from the eyes, so you're adding a lens. So therefore, the visual system stays the same. Your vision is sharper, especially quality of vision at night. And in case in the future there is some other procedure that one could use because the cornea stays intact, right? So you could always your cornea has not been touched by a laser, and that's also a big advantage. So FDA approved Evo ICL two years ago. Can you please compare the differences between the earlier version and the current versions of the ICL lenses? 
It's a big difference. It has made everybody's life easier for us and for the patient. With the previous version, we had to do a lot of preparation before we could do the surgery. We had to do actually a laser procedure before we do the surgery. We could only do one eye at a time. Um, because these, of these changes, we have been able to move ICL surgery from an operating room to an office-based operating room. And that has made it so much easier for us and uh, in terms of scheduling the patient and their whole experience has been much, much improved with the EVO ICL. Great. Could you please share more about the safety data of EVO ICL? The safety data is, is great. I mean, when the biggest concern with the ICL in the past used to be cataracts, right? Which is not a big, big deal because it's fixable, but still three to 5% of patients used to get cataracts with the old model of the ICL. With the EVO ICL, that seems to be very, very low. It's close to zero. It can, probably it can still happen over time, um, but that's really the, the main concern. Other than this, you know, basic concern of any type of surgery, infection, inflammation, um, but the vast majority of the time, uh, this procedure goes very, very well and uh, it's tolerated by the eye very well. Could you please explain the purpose and the benefit of the central hole of the EVO lens? So, so that hole has really, uh, is one of the major features of the EVO compared to the old lens, right? Because it allows fluid of the eye to circulate and therefore you don't need to do a laser prior to the surgery. So that has simplified the whole process. Um, on occasion, some people may notice the hole in the first few weeks after surgery was like a little ring of, of light, but uh, that usually is not problematic. But uh, considering the, all the advantages that it provides, it's really been a great addition. Great, how does EVO ICL affect the intraocular pressure, the LOP stability? That's really a minor concern. I know we talk about it quite a bit, but uh, if I look back at my, you know, 15 years where I've been doing the ICL, maybe I have removed two lenses because of pressure problems. And, uh, but usually we follow the patient. If that's gonna happen, it's gonna happen the first few days. Mm -hmm. And if it happens, worst case scenario, we just take the lens out. Great. So how do patients typically see before the procedure with glasses or contact lenses? And how will they see after the procedure without glasses and contact lenses? What is the efficacy index? For patients who have uh, low to moderate prescriptions, the vision with the ICL should be pretty similar to what they see with their contact lenses. It's, it's always going to be better than glasses because glasses have magnification or magnification effect. They distort the vision a little bit. Your peripheral vision may be affected. Now, for patients who have higher prescriptions, the ICL can actually improve your vision compared to what you were seeing with your glasses. Um, so sometimes patients cannot see 20-20, even with their glasses on, if they have a prescription of minus 10 and above. With the ICL, sometimes they gain a line or two, and that's really a, a very pleasant surprise. So it doesn't matter if the patient can see 20-20, it's more important for them to have a better vision or equally comparing with the pre-procedure vision with glasses or contact lens. Exactly. What, what we want, of course, we don't want them to lose any of the vision that they have, and that usually does not happen. But we want them to be able to function and do pretty much all the things they like to do without the need for glasses and contact lenses. Will there be a situation here and there where they may need something, maybe night driving, at a show, they need to see tiny details, that's possible. But uh, so we don't want them going in thinking this is 100% free of glasses, happens the vast majority of the time. But we want them going in saying, will I be able to do the vast majority of things without having to wear something? And the answer is yes. Since I proved two years ago, and here we're talking about the EVO ICL, we've probably done more than 500 lenses. What is your understanding of Asian eyes? Since Asian people would typically have smaller dimension and FDA measurements are based on white to white, is there any differences in how you approach and measure the Asian eyes? So uh, what we do is we take all sorts of measurements before the surgery and then we have formulas that will allow us to determine the best size of the lens. Um, it's not a perfect formula. On occasion, we, uh, we are maybe a little bit oversized or undersized. And, but what we have here at Boston Vision is, is a scanner that we use at the time of surgery. As soon as we do the first eye, we take the patient out, we scan their eye, and we see the position of the lens. And if we think this lens is a little bit bigger or smaller than needed, we immediately swap it to a different lens. 
and or when we go to the second eye we we change the size accordingly so we do rely on on the best technology in terms of sizing before the procedure and also on the same day of the procedure so if we need to change the lens for a different size it's available for us on that same day many chinese immigrants including teenagers aged 18 19 years old they might navigate the process alone without much english skills or family support so how do you or how do boston vision make them feel comfortable and reinsured during the process I mean, I can relate to that. I mean, I moved to this country when I was 20 years old and I was an immigrant myself and it was my first time moving to the US and uh, my English was okay. And uh, so I remember going to a doctor was, you know, not an easy experience at first. And, and I felt that I needed to feel welcome and in a warm environment. And, um, and that's something that we do here very well, I think. We, we really care about our patients, especially patients who are you know, coming from a different culture, maybe with language barrier. We have uh, Chinese speaking doctors and, uh, and uh, you know, many of our doctors here travel quite a bit. So they're, they're very exposed to the world and, uh, and they're interested in learning about other cultures. If you, you've seen our practice, every single one of our exam rooms have pictures from a different country. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're a very uh, open-minded practice and cosmopolitan and we welcome people of all cultures. Well, patients trust the doctors with millions of successful cases like you, but some people will still fear, what if I'm the only one case that could go wrong? So how do you address that concern? and provide them with reinsurance. Yes, I mean, I think I tell all patients there's, there's nothing safer than not having surgery, right? You're always taking a risk. At the same time, we take risk by wearing contact lenses, for example. Like I, I've never seen someone go blind from LASIK surgery or ICL surgery, but I see people go blind from a contact lens infection, right? But surgery is always a bit more concerning than, any, than anything else. But we're here for the patients. And my job as a surgeon is to handle things when things don't go right. Sometimes they ask me, why should I come to you and not someone else? And I say, when everything goes well, it doesn't matter where you go. It's really when things do not go on plan that you want to be under the care of someone who's experienced and you know how things, how to handle things. I always give them the example of, uh, of the plane that hit the birds, right, with the engine. Right? So when the weather is good, the sun is shining and the sky is blue, who's flying the plane is not as important as when the birds hit the engine, right? Then you need someone to land that plane. And this is what we provide here at Boston Vision is that level of experience where we're prepared for anything that could happen. How do you share more about Boston Vision's philosophy? What core principles guide your practice? You know, it's very simple. It's patience, patience, patience. I mean, to us, it's customer service. That's what we've always built this practice on. I, uh, I have always said to my staff, um, medicine is easy. It's really the customer service part that's hard. And so we want the patients to feel welcome. We want the patients to have a good experience from the moment they call us to the moment they leave with great vision. And that's really what we focus on. And this is why we're, we've been successful. I started this practice 25 years ago. It was just me and another person. Now we have seven locations. We have 23 doctors. I do work overseas and in Europe and in the Middle East. And when it comes to the EVO ICL, for example, we're the busiest um, ICL practice in the whole Northeast. And what makes the Boston Vision one of the leading eye care practices in the U.S.? How does it make you different from other practices? I think, I think if you would differentiate Boston Vision from other practices, we're what I call an academic private practice. So we, we combine the academia and the private world. We, the private world with the, with the customer service experience and academia in terms of research and education. Uh, and that, that's something that we focus on. We, we are all involved in teaching other doctors. We publish books, we publish uh, research papers. So we're always constantly innovating, always constantly learning new things, providing cutting edge technology. At the same time, not forgetting that the customer service, how long is the patient waiting is as important as the latest research project that we're working on. And this combination has, is really what made our success. Can you please tell me about one case that really stand out and it is very, very memorable. Probably the case that recently uh, really was very moving was a patient of mine who had only one eye um, because she had lost her other eye a long time ago and she had cataract in her other eye and uh, 
and she was really, really scared of having the surgery. And, uh, and I kept telling her year after year, well, you know, it's coming soon. We have to prepare yourself. And she was like, I'm really scared of losing my only eye. And so I reassured her that this is something that I had dealt with prior. And, uh, and finally, we did the surgery. And, uh, and the next day on her way here, before I see her, I see a message on my phone and, and it was a long voicemail and I, and I put it on and she was like crying and, and thanking me and how I changed her life and how she can now do so many other things. And it was just one day after the surgery and she was really so relieved that she could finally see. It can be very stressful and, and this is where, you know, expertise and, and experience and, and uh, you know, calm nerves come into play and where you have to, when you've done things so many thousands of times, this is when you really can tackle these difficult situations and somebody has to and, and we actually take on the challenge and we, we're happy that we're able to, to help. I mean, I've had, I've had many patients over the years who have gone to other surgeons who have said, you know, I'm not touching you. And, uh, and they end up coming here and we reassure them and we, you know, hold their hands, so to speak, to, through the process. And they end up doing very well. And, uh, you know, I, I usually tell them this is not an easy situation and there is a risk and, and bad things can still happen. But luckily, you know, the vast majority of the time things go fine. Wow, that's a very, very touching story. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for sharing your expertise today. 那么同时呢，我们也理解大家对于手术费用的疑虑。为了让优质的眼科服务触手可及，那 Boston Vision 呢提供了特别的优惠。那比如说呢，今天我们介绍的 Evo I C L 晶体植物手术，它只需要七千九百块。那如果你参与他们 Vision Like Me 的 program， 还可以有额外的三百到四百块的 discount。那么这个价格呢，是比市场要低至少百分之三十。另外的话，你还可以通过像 Vision Like Me 的 program 获得其他类手术的一个返现。那么更贴心的是呢， Boston Vision。还为所有视力矫正都提供十二到十八个月零利率的分期付款方式，让大家轻松的实现清晰世界，不再需要为经济负担而犹豫。如果您感兴趣的话，或者是想找 Dr. Melky 的团队做手术，都可以添加微信号 Boston Eye 免费预约检查，或者呢，您扫扫屏幕上方的二维码，也会有专业的中文咨询人员为您服务。好了，那以上就是今天节目的全部内容了。非常感谢 Boston Vision 的创始人 Dr. Milky 来到节目的现场，谢谢。我们下期节目不见不散。